Hey folks, my name is Tracy with Scrappy's Rustics. If you're on the replay, hashtag replay. If you're new, let us know that as well so we can give you a proper welcome. Feel free to share our video about, especially if you think somebody would enjoy my style or this project overall. It just helps my page out a lot. Uh, we don't have the community texting app anymore, but we do have Telegram now. The link is in the description. If you have Telegram, it should bring you right to my channel to group uh, to join the group. If you don't have it, it should ask you at that point to download the app, which is free in just a couple of steps and uh, just notify you when I go live. So happy Monday to you all. I'm in Florida and we have a wicked hurricane coming. i uh, wait for the five o'clock advisory as they still don't know all the spaghetti models are not in agreement, so they still don't know where it's going. Regardless, we're gonna get some crappy weather, so we're as prepared as we can be. Um, just gotta pick up a few more things in the backyard, but other than that, we're ready to go. Hey, Patty, as long as nothing gets ripped apart, we'll be okay. <laughs> we didn't get a chance to get up to our other property, which is three hours north, which one of the spaghetti models are going there, but you know, it is what it is. Safety is what's important, and hey, Carol, and it's just stressful, you know, it's just stressful. Good evening. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> hey, Michelle, thank you guys for joining me. I don't know when. I'm just going to play as it comes. Just going to play it as it comes. Hey, Deborah and Shonda and all our scrappy friends. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I got a few things to show you. And then I'm going to try to put this decoupage paper. I don't know if it's going to work, but I can, my brain isn't in the right place to uh, do anything complicated, which this will probably be complicated because nothing's ever easy. <laughs> But you know, hey Cheryl, how are you? What the heck is that? Where am I? There I am. There I am, my goofy face. Hey Debbie, yeah. I don't know. I got my little phone here, so we, at five o'clock we can see what the new advisory is. Because none, of, like I said, none of them are in agreement. But regardless, we're gonna get, we're gonna get something. We're gonna get something. So I did not make this shirt. I wish I did, Kim, because this is one of the very first shirts we had on our website. Hey Julie. Um, and they don't make this bee anymore. And I'm like a bee snob, and I think this is like one of the best bees I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and uh, hey, Brandy and Sheila. Um, hey, Jeremy, or Jenny, Jeremy, <laughs> Jenny, Debbie. Um, they, they replaced it. It's all right, the other shirt's okay, but it, it's nothing like this one. They just totally did away with it. And I believe we, we might have sold, you know, I'm not sure if we have any of these left or not. We might have sold out, I don't know. I don't know. Yes, pray for Florida. Hope for the best, y'all. I mean, we go through these a lot. I mean, back in the 90s, there was we got hit with like five, well, potential threats, like five, five back to back. And um, my business where I work, um, it was so bad. They had just recently bought another place in um, a sec to house, like a, a disaster site. And they literally ended up, um, uh, Grace, you're new. Well, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you like my style and you become a new friend. We'd love to have you. Um, thank you, Shauna, for us in the scraps. They ended up, because they were sending out so many people for each hurricane ahead of time, they ended up chartering their own plane. Like, it was crazy. It ended up being a big party because we never got hit with any of them. It, it was just crazy. It, it was a crazy time. It was stressful. Stressful. As a matter of fact, Charlie was supposed to hit us direct. And I had my grandmother here. I had my husband's parents here. And it was not a good situation and that that thing just took a right hand turn like i never seen anything like it and hit right south of us about two hours south of us so that was pretty crazy so you just never know you just don't know so like i said if nothing gets as long as nothing gets ripped apart we're we're good we're good we could be out last time it was just a tropical storm we were out of power for like five days um but everything's wiped out of course everything was wiped out yesterday as far as grocery stores uh, my husband managed to get some more gas today so we got plenty of gas for the generator and plenty of water we're good we got propane so because we have a dual the gen air stove so it's electric uh oven and propane gas top so we got that we got gas hot water heater so we'll see we'll see last time the water stayed on which was great it wasn't that bad so we'll see what happens we'll see let's hope for the best um all right so i just want to show you um if you i got two orders in the queue right now i am going to go to the post office in the morning um not in the morning but in the early afternoon but I don't know what's gonna happen after that. So just know if I can get it out, I will. And if you know we're out of power, we're down for a couple of days, as soon as I can get it out, I will. So just know that. So thank you, Tina. Um, finally got the right stuff in. So um, we got the just a couple of new things, uh, our restock, nothing really new actually. Uh, yeah, family in Florida as well. Yeah, we're gonna look at the update at five o'clock. So we got um, more of the matte varnish 
my favorite stuff, y'all. If you are a matte person, I'm telling you, I did a lot of research. I did a lot of samples. This is, this is your stuff. And then we got some more textile um, stuff in varnish and glue for textiles, which becomes washable if you heat set it. And it works because I washed it in the wash machine <laughs> and we proved that it worked. A um, couple of new paper, not new papers, just restock. Um, thank you, Terry. Thank you, Elizabeth. Restock. Love that paper. You guys love this paper. We're going by numbers now. I'm trying. I'm almost there with all the numbers, but I still need some work. 0073. This is Decoupage Queen Rice Paper. 0073. If you type in hashtag website in the comments, all, all together, hashtag, you know, the number sign, <laughs> website, it'll send our website link to your private messenger. Um, so that's hashtag website. These have been found on our decoupage. Um, hashtag email. We will send you a link to our website, but it's a different screen. And at the bottom, you just put in your email address. That's it. Hit subscribe. That's where any future sales and stuff are going to end up coming from email that way. Since we don't have our other community app because they went cuckoo bananas with the price. <laughs> um, hashtag text will um, send you the link to our telegram. If you don't have telegram, when you click it, it'll ask you to open the app or download the app. You can just do that. It's free. It's fine. It's safe. It's pretty simple to do. Um, and then you should be able to join the channel from there. And lastly, hashtag YouTube. <laughs> I'm trying to build my YouTube channel and that will, um, that will send you to my YouTube channel if you want to subscribe. And most of all, watch something because <laughs> I need the hours. You're going to drive on Thursday. Now, yeah, I would be in a holding pattern too. We just don't know until, you know, it hits really, or it's, it's close. <laughs> it's close. All right. Uh, restock. I screwed up. We have a bunch of these. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Karen. Um, this is 0331. But what I didn't realize is we sold out of the A3s. We sold out of the bigger one, the next size up. So I didn't order those. So we have a bunch of these. 000331. I still love it. And I still think these would be adorable on those. That's what I should have done today. I don't have any in here. And those little cutting boards. I think that would make a cute little cute little something. And then this was out 0332. 0332. That's the one I did the lamb on. And then this guy. Y'all, 0152. He's so good. He's, I love the black and white. Um, thank you guys. So um, what I'm going to try to do is, um, of course, I'm going to keep coming live and doing all the things as long as I have power and long as I can. But if I do go down without power, what I'm gonna do tonight is, um, oh, finish, I started. I'm gonna try to schedule out, because you can you can schedule things to post. Um, so I'll be able to schedule videos and I'll be able to schedule just post, no reels or anything like that, um, to YouTube and Facebook. So I think Instagram too, actually. Um, so if I am down and about, um, if you do see a bunch of pre-recorded and you don't, I'm not active uh, replying to you or whatever, I'll try to communicate any way I can, for certainly let you know I'm safe, but um, if you could just watch the video, the replays, or the pre-recorded, that will just help my Aggie rhythm while I'm down. I hate to ask anybody else to help me out, but I know the girls are in line, will go live for me if needed, but I just, I hate to put anybody out because I know how busy life is. I get it, I get it, <laughs> I get it. All right, lastly, these are new Rusty Jingle Bells. Who doesn't love Rusty anything? So you get a five pack, I want to say $2.99, I'm not sure, it's a five pack. I believe they are 20 millimeter, I think they're 20 millimeter, they're good size and they are rusty, that's why they're in this bag, there's already rust in the bag. And then the rusty wire as I promised, it's 30, um, 30 inches of wire and uh, I believe, this is 20 or 22, I should have looked this up, hey Lisa, I should have looked it up before I came on but I did it it's like 20 I think it's 20 uh, millimeter too it's like the perfect it's not too strong where it um you can't bend it and it's not too wimpy where it's you know it's gonna fall apart so it, it's perfect it's perfect so rusty wire rusty bells these are under embellishments under pentart and then the papers are under decoupage paper all right so I, or, you know me, I like to order things ahead of time. I like to, um, it's not moving around. I know, I know, Mary, I know. Hey, hi, hi, Unique, how are you, my sweet friend? Y'all, Unique's on here, Pat. 
uh, if you're not following Pat, check her out. Pat's Pat's having a little rough go at life right now, so if you guys prayers for her and lift her up, um, I'm sure she'd appreciate anything. And we all go through those ups and downs in life. Sometimes they're really down, and you know you just need you need your friends around to help you uh, get through it. So you send out the rust. Thank you, Sue. So I. I, I buy things a lot on the side, like one or two, just to see the quality, you know, because sometimes you can't, um, we, you can't miss, I mean, you can't, you can't see what it is online. You just can't. Uh, Judy, uh, I don't know what you missed. Uh, hurricane coming? I don't know. I don't know. Pat needs prayers. That's all. Um, thank you, Sherry. Thank you. Yeah, we're, so, uh, we'll look at the five o'clock and see when it's coming. So, um, I ordered some bags, burlap bags. I think they're cool, but I don't think they're cool enough to, like, make them resellable for you. Um, it smells though, it smells like a burlap bag. So it's just a burlap burlap bag. And then we have this decoupage paper. Oh, I didn't take this out of stock. This is from Ninny's Napkins. This is, we have this on the site too. I love this sunflower. I don't know why, but I just, I love it. So what we're gonna do is, I don't even know if this is gonna work because this burlap's, you know, it's burlap. And I'm not even gonna, you're supposed to technically put white behind it which that's, we could, there is a technique for that. But I think what I want to do is I want to decoupage this on there and kind of make it look like it's printed on there. So we're not going to do white in the back. Oh, thanks for lifting Beth, or uh, Beth, thank you for lifting Pat up. I'm sure she, uh, oh, she needs it. Ah, uh, yeah, I am. We are right in the path. Uh, yep, 100%. 100%. I am in Pinellas County, where if you look on the map, of Florida and you look on the west coast there's this little like thumb little crick looking thing that's me you know the guy from the National Weather Station Joe is his name the bald guy you know he's the crazy guy out in the he's always out in the storm I think his name is Joe I don't know what his name is but they say if you see him there's trouble well guess what he just showed up in Clearwater <laughs> so yeah not good he's on Clearwater Beach so, yeah. So there's that. <laughs> there's that. Like you said, if nothing, as long as, I'm going to put some parchment in here because I'm, I plan on soaking this. Because I'm real. I don't think I've ever decoupaged to burlap. And if I have, it definitely wasn't this size. Um, so, yeah. Sucks. Uh, Jim C Cantori, yes, Deborah, that's his name. Jim Cantori, yes, <laughs> yes. He looks the same. He looks like the same guy he was in the last 15 years worth of storms. Yep, he is on Clearwater Beach. I know. I love that sunflower uh, paper too. I don't. I don't know what it is about it. Just different. What the heck? Jim Cantori. I was saying Joe. <laughs> Joe. Um, yeah, but I mean, regardless of where the eye is, sorry, I know this is like n annoying and noisy because I'm annoyed by it. <gasps> um, your mother and sister home to Bradington. Oh boy. Um, we're gonna get we're gonna get something. There's no there's no way around that. There's no way around of us getting something. And they're really worried about the storm surge. So that's, that's a concern. They say run from the water, hide from the winds. I watch Dennis Phillips, Action News 8. He's pretty funny. He's got uh, rules one through seven and his rule number seven is panic. And he, I don't think he's ever had, had to go to rule number seven, but he's just a straight, he, some of these channels you watch, you will have everything, the entire family packed up and moved into another state within a day. Like they will drive you to that. But he is just like, this is how it is. This is what's gonna happen, you know. It just tells you like it is, and I appreciate that. Um, my mom told me. Oh, oh, your mom lives in Clearwater? Uh, no, I just put uh, parchment in here. Just parchment. I don't know if that's a good idea, a bad idea. I don't know. I'm truly your favorite person. Oh, Patricia, you just made my day, girl. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I was kind of apprehensive about coming on live because. I'm not in my regular chippy, you know, scrappy self. <laughs> I'm a little, uh, I'm a little thrown here. A lot of my mind. A lot of my mind. I got lots of work to do. 
Lots of work to do. That's all right. I got to log into work tonight. I don't know if I'm going to make it the whole night. We'll see. All right, so if you've never worked with rice paper, um, it is a fib fibrous paper. Hey, Dana. So it's very durable. See all those white things in there? Like, those are the fibers. Now, this, this is kind of unusual because this entire piece of rice paper is inked. Like, there's no... There's no... Um, fiber showing at all. So if you were to want to cut, if you were want to, if you were wanting to cut this fussy cut it, your best bet would, if you could see, is to do it from the back because it'll work on the front, but it'll take longer because the, your ink's going to want to repel your water opposed to, you know, soaking it in so you can rip it. But I think we're just going to, it's got the black edges. I normally don't like straight edges, but I feel like we should just put it right down, right on there, just the way it is. Uh, yeah, I, I don't I mean, a new house. Oh, new house build? Oh, boy. It's never a good time. I mean, it's never a good time. My husband, I mean, he's just like a crazy person. He he does so much. He's done so much. Uh, we got groceries. We got water. We got the generator. We got gas. The things are up on the windows in the front. I mean, it's just... We just got to do a little bit of the backyard. Hey, Joan, how are you? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you like my style and you come hang out with us, Joan. Just give me a try. If you don't like me, you have my permission to dump me. To dump me. If you guys don't know how to follow, if you like anybody's video, Hari, any of those things, don't give them a mad face because they won't invite you. But at the end of the video or when they see it, we have the option to invite you to our page if you don't know how to follow. Because sometimes pages are confusing. You can't find how the heck you follow this person. How do you turn on the notifications? Every page is different. So, so yeah, I think we're just going to. We're gonna plaster this right on here. What do y'all think? I mean, I love the black around the edges. I think this is actually called Sunflower is the name of this one. I don't like it says Ninny's napkins up there though. <laughs> I mean, I like Ninny and all, but geez. It's kind of wide down here. I mean, skinny. Maybe if I flip it over. I don't know if we're gonna put anything in this bag. Um, I am seven miles. From the coast seven miles I'm, I'm literally like seven miles from the coast seven miles from the bay the thing that they worry about is when the way the water comes up if all the water pushes to the bay the water has nowhere to go so um, we're not in any well we shouldn't be in any flood type issues like that so we'll see I don't know uh, Thank you, Donna. You like the, yeah, we're just gonna do it. If it goes over and I gotta cut, the bag's weird over here, like it's, sh it's short. I don't wanna get another one because then I gotta shove the stinking paper back in there. I think we just do it. I don't know. See what I mean? See what I mean right here? And then it's fine over here. It's just the bag is short. I think it's gonna look weird. Oh well, we're, we're just gonna do it. We're just doing it. What do we wanna use? I think we should use the th thick stuff. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Cindy. What size is the bag? That's a good question, Karen. I have no idea. I'm gonna guess 12 inches. Maybe we should use good old Mod Podge. Cause it's, do I have any? Yeah, let's use good old Mod Podge. Do it, girl. <laughs> uh, you're interested in this craft? Well, good, cause it's kind. This is that. This is kind of boring, but I think it'll be cute. It is 12 by nine-ish. Like I said, I ordered a bunch of stuff. I ordered a bunch of a lot of paper mache. I love paper mache, but it can be expensive, and yeah, sometimes it's just not worth to turn around and sell it. You know. My husband's in Lakeland when Hurricane Donna hit. Yeah. Our last tropical storm was bad. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm so excited you caught me too, Cindy. All right. I'm just going to pop some in here. <laughs> That's probably enough for three or four bags. You're in North Central. We really want some of those bags. Uh, I'll have to revisit it, Sheila. I have to revisit it. You'll have to message me. That's another thing, guys. Um, Facebook doesn't always show us 
all our messages. So you have my permission to private message me and I promise you I will message you back when I have the opportunity. So if you have a specific question, you are welcome to. All right, I guess I'm gonna start from the bottom. I'll start, it's nothing straight about this, uh, <laughs> this bag here. Right, let's just go, let's just do it. Just peel her back. I'm gonna have to really, I wonder if I should saturate the paper first. Let's do a little bit here and see. I don't have to go to the top top. Let's just do a little on the top and see. You guys can't see what I'm doing. That's awesome. Wow, I'm that far off camera. <laughs> Woo wee. Woo wee. All right. Right about there. Wow. That should be enough glue right there, you think? <laughs> Good old Mod Podge. Nothing like the smell of Mod Podge. So I'm trying to figure out how I... <laughs> I'm like laying in bed this morning trying to get to sleep and I'm, and I'm thinking about what kind of crafts could I craft um, by candlelight. Do I ship to Canada? I do not. I hope to one day, but I do not at this moment. I do not. I shipped out of the country once, to be honest with you. It was a complete nightmare. I don't know what the heck I was doing. It was so expensive. Not that I paid for it, but it was so much work. And I don't know, I wasn't sure it was even going to get there. Um, customs is like crazy. So, I do not. But hopefully one day, I'll have enough knowledge and manpower to do that. But right now, I do not. Alright, let's see what that does for us. It looks like I need to go up higher, but we can go back to that. Okay, you can see the burlap behind it, and that's what I wanted. Thank you, Gail. You're not evacuating? Yeah, we're not leaving either. My job was like, oh, we'll send you to Orlando. Yeah, no. That that year that, um, I think it was 2005. I could be wrong. Three or five. When we had the five Charlie back to back to back to back. Um, like I told you, they, um, they chartered the planes to go to Michigan. <laughs> well, so when we need people, <laughs> how do I make it stop? Hold on. I'll lose you guys. I'm sorry. Oh, where's my light? I just got a national. Oh, there we go. It scared me. The uh, life-threatening storm surge. <laughs> yeah, all all my phones and everything just went cuckoo crazy. Oh, it scared me. My heart's ticking. Oh, hold on, let me push down my wet mod podge. I didn't know how to get you guys back. I didn't know how to put you guys get you guys back. Yeah, I just put a piece of parchment in there. But I, I didn't, I don't want anything white. Like normally you paint lighter color behind your decoupage so it pops, but I don't want that because I want it to look like it's part of the bag. I don't know if that's going to be achieved, but we're going to try. We're going to try. <sighs> oh, my little heart. My little heart. My little heart can't take it. How do you refresh? There we go. Let's see if the five o'clock advisory is out. I don't know if this says the time or not. No, that doesn't say. Y'all, I never had a weather alert come up like that, and I couldn't get rid of it. It was just there. It was just there. It scared me. Got me all nervous. Got me all nervous. <sighs> oh, thank you, Shelly. Thank you, thank you. It doesn't say what time this is at. As of right now, it looks the same as it did when I came on. It's just 5.13 now. Hurricane's coming. Extreme threat. <laughs> That's a big alert. Uh, 8 a.m. Thursday morning. It'll hit landfall, according to this. But I don't think that's the latest advisory, so... We'll wait. We'll look in a few minutes. Yeah, we're staying put. Like I said, we'll be... Well, we're good as long as nothing gets ripped apart. And then if everything's good and the things are clear, we'll take some gas cans and whatnot and go up and check on our other property. So, hey, Kelly. See how that goes. Because we did not have time to go up there and do anything. So we just got to hope for the best. Uh, there's lots, lots, 
<laughs> Lots of ginormous trees up there. Like ginormous. Old hundred year old oaks and but I mean, even if we were to go up there, it's not like we can cut them all down or anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. Just gonna hope for the best. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. We got a nice big jacuzzi tub, so if we have to both jump in there, then that's what we'll do. <laughs> Oh, so what I was saying before that stupid thing came up, uh, Dixie County, Patricia, Dixie County is the other place, like by Cedar Key, Chieflin, south of Gainesville. Um, that year we had them, all those storms coming, they were, you know, they're going to hit the coast, they're going to do this, they're going to do that. Well, I cannot tell you how many people, I'm talking thousands of people, deadlocked traffic on I-4 all went to Orlando, Orlando, went to the other coast, all this, and the freaking storms hit there. I mean, they like did nothing here and went right there, and man, people were mad. People were so mad. I mean, that's a big deal to pack up your family and the money it costs to do that, and I mean, three times that happened. <laughs> three times, this is gonna come barreling out. Oh, yeah, so. Yeah, that's, I mean, it, it's almost scary because it's like cry wolf, you know? I mean, that was so many years ago, but it was, it's like cry wolf. We're going to really get one and nobody's going to take it seriously. And, you know, you just don't know. You just don't know. All right, let me just get up against this paper. As you can see, I'm doing closest to the paper last because I don't want my paper to get soggy. And then I pull on it and I rip it in half as I'm getting this everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Everywhere. Else. Oh, it's sticking to the paper on the inside. I can feel it. Hey, Melody. Thank you guys for joining me. Like I said, I had a craft around the clock for tomorrow, but I canceled it. Um, I was asked to go on Talisa's Lin Talisa Lindsay's page tomorrow, but I said I better not. I don't want any commitments that, you know, I think tomorrow will be fine. But we'll see. So I will be on when I can. <laughs> you have strong roots to yeah exactly. yeah well the problem with it up there is it's so wooded that everything is always damp like it's never it's just never dry up there it seems like like it's hot and all that but it just i'm not i miss this whole <laughs> but uh it is what it is this is working but it's taken a, a lot of mod podge like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Those trees root in storms, so rather, yeah. Well, Florida's like a giant sand pit. <laughs> uh, Wednesday and Thursday are my concerns of the storm. I agree, Heidi, I agree. Tuesday night, starting late Tuesday night. It's funny, because the storms always seem to slow down. You know, they, they had it here tomorrow and now it's like Thursday morning okay this is looking like kind of how I wanted it see how you can still see, kind of see the bag in the back you can see the ripples and I love that so it's working it's just taking some time for the I bet you yeah see how nice and smooth it is down there I like that texture I bet you if I if I mod podge the paper and that at the same time it would have just stuck right to it I'm all the paste supposed to your page. Um, I don't know. You know, sometimes the power goes out, your phone acts crazy, like it won't work. Ah, uh, Trina. Oh, you did? Aw. I, I can imagine. Well, that was nice of you to take supplies like that. Um, I don't know. I certainly will try, but what I am going to do is I'm going to s schedule. I already started, but I'm going to schedule some posts, and I'm going to schedule some pre-recorded videos. That way my algorithm kind of doesn't take a dump um, so I will be doing that so if I am out of power and I can't go live at least I'll have those so you could help me out by watching the pre-records which you guys already do that anyway so that's nothing new um, but I'm probably gonna post post them out from like maybe Wednesday to Wednesday to Wednesday and then if I have power I can just you know take them down if that makes any sense man I thought I poured too much Mod Podge that first time. That's my second, my second helping. My second helping. I'm glad I didn't use my good matte stuff. I use matte over the top. 
Yeah. I'll use matte over the top. Danvers, Massachusetts. I bet you that's beautiful. All that New England is beautiful. I just can't take this, the winters. They're too long and gray and dark and cold. But man, the summer, spring, and fall are absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I guess everybody would live there if it wasn't freezing like that. Hey, Cynthia, we're just, we're just, uh, mod podging <laughs> a piece of rice paper down to a burlap bag. That's really what it comes down to. Um, just trying to, I want to kind of, I want it to kind of look like it's part of the bag, like it's printed on there. I don't know if that's the look we're going to get, but that's what we're trying to do. That is what we're trying to do. So we didn't paint the, we didn't paint the paper or anything. I do have a video. I gotta finish it. <laughs> Story of my life. I got a video, I gotta, I gotta edit it. Uh, oh, thank you so much. Where did you get the container for the Mod Podge? Oh, those are Fife, FIFO, FIFO bottles. They're not cheap, but you can get them on Amazon. Um, and they're basically, they're made for um, restaurants, for salad dressings and sauces and that kind of stuff. Um, I like them. They have their advantages, but they do get kind of clogged sometimes. And then when you squeeze it, like you don't know if it's going to come like, like way too much out, but overall they're nice and they don't, you know, they don't explode like the Dollar Tree ones, but make sure you get the blue tip because they have like green and red and, and those are for like, I guess the different color is for the consistency of whatever it is you're squirting out. <laughs> that makes any sense. Um, so yeah. Oh, so. What I was saying is, uh, you can ski. That's true. That's true. Toboggan. Yeah. I broke my arm on a toboggan. <laughs> sure did. That was my cousin was dragging me on her three wheeler and she decided it'd be a good idea to turn and have me go up on this snow berm. Well, the snow berm was a log pile. Yeah. I hit it like a ton of bricks. <laughs> my arm got stuck behind the log pile and the toboggan. And I remember it just like hanging there and it was like snap, snap. Oh, at first I couldn't move it. And I don't know where the heck my mom was at that time, but I was with her fam my cousin's family by marriage. And I'm like, I think my arm's broke. And they were like, ah, you'll be fine. I walked around with a broken arm for like five months. <laughs> uh, I think I'm finally done making stuff for my son's wedding. Oh, good for you. Oh, this Saturday. Awesome, Cindy. Awesome, awesome. All right, I don't know how we're looking. All right, let me just get the rest of this on here and then we'll clean up. I see some stuff on the side, so we gotta get some more on there. Um, So, have you ever tried, I made a video, it'll, it'll be out this week, um, or soon, but you ever go to, you want to decoupage something on a dark surface, but you don't want to paint, you know, you don't want to paint white on your dark surface to put the rice paper down, so you just don't do it, you avoid it. So, there's a method, which I've showed you guys not it's been a long time but there's a way to um there's a way to do it and that video will show you um so it's pretty cool and it totally works and i learned learned a few things doing it myself um so be on the lookout for that because i think it's very handy and i think a lot of us avoid um that you cringe on the broken arm oh yeah it was bad um i think a lot of us avoid doing that type of decoupage for that very reason um, yeah, and I remember, I, I, I can't remember, I was like in the fifth grade, but anyways, it was like five months later, and I'm still complaining, you could hear it snap, 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 and, um, my mom ended up taking me to some orthopedic, I don't even know what, um, but I remember her crying and grabbing me, and like, get, let's get the hell out of here, like, I didn't know what was going on, well, they were uh, accusing her of child abuse, that she broke my arm and all this. It, nothing ever happened. I mean, I just, my arm healed on its own <laughs> after that. So, yeah. That's all I remember. Yep. They, they, she, they thought she was abusing me and <laughs> didn't even fix my arm. Just let me go. <laughs> I am live. Thanks, Shonda. I am live. I'm alive. Oh, it's only four to five to four. I broke the legs in five places. Ice skating. Holy crap. 
That's not a good time. I'm trying to push this last piece on here, but I'm getting... The Mod Podge is so wet. All right, I'm just going to go around the edges now and um, plop it down where it needs it. I think that looks kind of cool. I like the texture in it. The straight line don't look bad either because it's shaded. Had that not been shaded, we would have had to fussy cut it. We would have had a... We would have had a... Ah, do you think wetting the burlap would... Oh, wetting the burlap might help, yeah. It stinks, though. Burlap stinks, and when you get it wet, it stinks even worse. Um, yeah, that might, that's actually probably a good idea. That probably would work. I don't know why this one's so much farther over on this side, and I, I got so much space over there. I don't know what went wrong there. I'm not really sure. There's nothing straight about this, or square, <laughs> excuse me, about this bag here. Just kind of whatever shape it wants to be. Hopefully we can get this parchment paper out because it is really, it's really stuck. It's, yeah, it's stuck. Yeah. Might have to keep the bag in it, I don't know. Yeah. So now I'm like, I got all the, um, the texture. It is kind of cool. Um, thank you, Missy. I got all the, all the, merchandise in the back room which is like an aluminum room i'm wondering what to do should i bring that in like i don't know what to do i don't know what to, i don't know what to do uh the thought of moving all that makes me cringe but the thought of something happening to it is even worse i don't know i don't know like i said if nothing gets ripped apart we're fine <laughs> Oh, you didn't miss much. I'm still just gluing the same piece of paper down to the same bag. It's <laughs> the burlap bag. I feel like we need to, like, after it's all said and done, like, pick that apart so it's all, like, you know, burlappy, fringy. I guess we could stuff this with stuff, <laughs> like newspaper maybe, and put some moss on the top, and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have no thoughts of this after putting this paper on. I don't want to do with it. Thought it'd be a good idea to glue it on here. Uh, it's here over here is kind of weird because it's overlapping. I'm just gonna go as far as it'll let me, and then I guess we'll have to. I don't know what. Cut it off. Uh, there's not really much we can do here. Not really much. I just leave it. Probably just leave it. Squish it down there. Yeah. That'll be alright. I think we're good. I think it's down. Let me dry it a little so we can see if anything wants to pop up. Oh yeah. It's so wet. I should take it out put another... I don't know if I can put it... I better leave it for now. Uh, yeah, we have storm shutters in the front. Our house faces west. Um, so therefore that faces the gulf where it will be coming from. Um, so we have them on the front of the house. We have them on the front of the house. Uh, dig a punch napkins on burlap. Oh, I missed it. Use a pounce brush. Oh, that's a good idea too, Dolores. I usually use something like that if it's wet, wet, wet. Yeah, I guess with a napkin you'd have to because it's too wet to um, to touch. That's the beauty of rice paper. Um, it's so durable. But yeah, with a napkin, yeah, you don't. I wouldn't be able to rub a plastic bag like that. You broke your leg. I break spiral. Hit a porch pole riding my. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's not good. That is not good at all. It's amazing. I've been watching, um, I, I'm sad because I, the last episode was last night, but I've been watching, um, I have Netflix. No, not Netflix. Roku. I was watching I Survived Beyond and Back. Holy smokes. Like, it's just mind-blowing. These people literally, they're dead. Dead as dead could be and they come back and they remember it all and it's just it's crazy just it, it every story is different but every story is the same as far as 
the peaceful feeling and um, the loving feeling and the lights and just all kinds of stuff. A couple people went to hell. Um, that was a little scary and came back. So but it was, it's a good show. If you're into that kind of stuff, it's called I Survived Beyond and Back. And it is, it's good. Put a plastic bag. Uh, I was thinking that and kind of leave it kind of open. Um, plastic bag. Wait, maybe I read that wrong. I was thinking... Put a plastic bag over a tall bottle and then... Yeah, I was thinking that too, to kind of let it air out when it's... Yeah, that's a great idea. Yes, thank you. Agree. Agree. Because I don't want to take that parchment paper out. I think that'll just... I'll never get another piece in there. This almost looks like leather now. Looks like that rooster pillow. I want to get the shine out of it, though. I do like the texture. It does look like it's part of it. Except for that right there. Except for that right there. All right, let's, let's, uh, it's pretty dry except for on the edges. Let's put some matte on it and try to get this shine down and then we'll be done. If they went to hell, I bet they're, yes, exactly. Exactly. The one guy was like dealing drugs and, uh, you know, the ladies, man, just, just not a, just not a nice person burning people. Um, hey, Lyd uh, Lydia, it's called, it's on Netflix. I keep saying Netflix. It's on Roku. It's called I Survived Beyond and Back. There's three seasons. And man, you'll be like, <laughs> if you like that kind of stuff. I like that kind of stuff. Um, just fascinating. Just totally, totally fascinating. Um, um, sunflower. It is, I love this paper. I love this paper. The minute I saw it um, on her website, I was like, oh, I got to have that. It's on our website, but it's from Ninny's Napkins. And it's called Sunflower. <laughs> Imagine that. doesn't even have a number. Oh, you're not late as long as you're here. I had an abscess. Wait, what now? She had the nearest like. Oh my goodness. I can imagine an abscess. That's like a ginormous infection. You love oh, then you're gonna love that show. You gotta watch it. You will be glued. Like, I try to just I only watch TV or something before I go to bed, try to shut my mind down. Well watching this, you know, I wanna watch more and more and more. <laughs> you just walked in from work, Patricia. Okay, so let's look at the shine now and let's see if we can mat it down. Get it, what does that say on the bottom? Botanical. Hello, Patricia. Thanks for joining. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday to you. All right, let's go. Let's go this way. Let's get this mat down. So, like I said, if you love mat, take my word for it. This Pentart uh, varnish, the matte varnish, is for you. It's so good. It works just like as a decoupage. Just it works just like Mod Podge, exactly like Mod Podge. I think it's smoother, but it's definitely matte. Because even Mod Podge says it's matte. It's not matte. It has a sheen. Matte is matte. <laughs> uh, important. Yes, I, we have all our papers in, um, you know, those tubs. Um, I'll make sure I keep our pills and that kind of stuff, our medicine in my purse, you know, with me, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm okay. I mean, losing power sucks, but I'm okay with it. We got the generator. I could live in a fan with a fan, you know, I'm fine with that. I just don't want anything ripped apart. That's what I don't want. I don't want like the roof ripped apart and, you know, the squirrels coming in, you know, I don't want, I don't want no squirrels. Or, uh, uh, rain. Uh, put a pillow to, wait. Oh, put it, oh, make this a pillow? Well, it's a side, wait, we could make it a pillow, huh? Ooh, that's a good idea, Shelly. This would be cute stuff like a pillow. Ooh, you got, you got a good, good idea there, girl. We can get a whole sunflower group. We have a gang of sunflower pillows. <laughs> We have a gang of sunflower pillows. That'd be cool. Yes. All right. Let's get some mat on here. Now, I will tell you with this stuff, if it gets clumped in like um, crevices, sometimes it, it, 
but it'll turn white and you'll be like, oh man, I hope it doesn't dry like that. It doesn't. But for some reason, when it gets clumped like that, it takes a while to dry and I'm not sure why that is. Just for this Pentart stuff, but it does dry totally clear and matte. Okie dokie. That was easy. Uh, oh, tooth paint is terrible. My daughter's stepmom, um, she, she was, I think she was like nine, eight or nine, my stepdaughter, and her mom came to our house and said, or dropped her off, I can't remember, but it looked like she swallowed a package of hot dogs, like her neck was like, I was like, oh, anyway, she um, dropped her off and she said she's she got to go to the hospital, I'm thinking, well, yeah. Looks like you should have went a couple days ago. Uh, she had an abscess tooth. I just lost my pool to a tree. Oh no, Kimberly, that's not good. See, stuff like that, it's just, it's replaceable, but it's a pain in the, mm. Um, anyways, she went in and it was abscess. She almost died. She ended up septic and they ended up finding out she had um, you, uh, cervical cancer. Well, needless to say, she didn't do anything about it and she was, she, she was dead. The next year like literally in one year she was dead um and she was young she was young she was like 20 28 or 29 years old so because she had samantha when she was really really young um so that that was unfortunate but she didn't do anything about it i mean i don't know all right so there's how it's looking it's still wet it's definitely more matte definitely let's heat it up and then i gotta i gotta go log into stupid work <laughs> stupid work I got called yesterday. Yeah, it was, it's crazy. It's crazy. She didn't, ha she didn't have, she didn't choose the best choices in life leading up to all of this, but you know, sad, sad. I always felt bad for Samantha. It was kind of funny because we ended up, you know, ended up adopting Samantha, so to speak. And, um, she wouldn't be sad. They buried her on Valentine's Day. The parents were losing. It's a whole, it's a whole like reality series. But anyway, they ended up burying her on Valentine's Day. But uh, Samantha would never be upset unless it was her mom's birthday, which was in April. And she'd go to bed. This happened every year. She'd go to bed. She'd be in bed maybe an hour, maybe an hour. And she'd be up bawling. So uh, <laughs> I'd give her two things of NyQuil. <laughs> As soon as she got up, you ever think two things a night, well, sit there, let her talk and cry and get it all out, you know, and by hour or so, the night will kicks in and off the bed she goes. So we did that every year um, until she moved out. And then when she moved out, um, I gave her a box of night cool with a note. And I was like, here's for every April, you know, whatever. <laughs> Take your night cool and then call me. So just little things you remember like that. Who is that? Who's from? Hello, Nancy. Thanks, Sue. It's all right. I love it. I like it better matte. It's almost like it took some of the yellow out. But this glue does not come off your fingers, but it is great if you've got the time to peel it. It's like the old fashioned, you know, where's glue when you peel it off? It's like peeling sunburned skin. I know some people think that's disgusting. I kind of enjoy it, to be honest with you. I think it feels good and it's neat. But yeah, so what I'll do is, like somebody else recommended, I'll open the pocket and let it dry, you know, like so. But this would make a cool pillow, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Yeah, I'll take this out. It's hot in here, it's all sweaty in here. I'll take this paper out, let it dry like this, and oh, sweaty, like a sweaty sock. <laughs> and uh stuff that baby it's, yeah or yeah like you i was saying stuff it with some like newspaper or bags and then put a little bit of moss and some flowers would be in it dried flowers would be cute in it too but it's simple but i love i love simple i love stuff like this i love stuff like this you uh, peeling glue is the best i know this is good peeling off your finger glue because it doesn't come off any other way like you can roll keep rolling it but yeah yeah, this is really cute and it really I'm glad I didn't do the white background because it's the look I was looking for it was the look I was looking for <laughs> 12 Oaks Gardens and Creations hello <laughs> how are 
are you? Oh, who's not feeling good? Something about the dog. What? What? Can't see with the flower pot. Wow, my comments are so behind. Sicker than a dog. Oh, Reed, I'm sorry, honey. Wow, my comments are very far behind. Wow, wow, wow. Um, thank you. So this is called sunflower. <laughs> take a bunch of paper. I gotta take this out of stock because I did not take this out of stock. There's something else I wanted to show you guys. Kind of clean up my craft room because I kind of had to. But all right, you guys. Hopefully, I'll be on tomorrow. If anything changes, I will try my best to stay in a communication. Make sure I'm safe. Oh, I wanted to look up the. Um, Thank you, Melinda, um, the latest advisory. But, um, like I said, I am going to, ooh, this is good. It is showing now a one when it makes landfall. So this was at, wait, does that say 5.40 a.m.? All right, right, hold on. I can't be right. <laughs> uh, Tracy, so I ordered a bunch of stuff from a wholesaler paper mache and these burlap bags because I like to see sometimes if it's something I want to sell myself um, but I no I can't so I I'll look at them again because somebody else asked me but I don't know that they're gonna be worth trying to to sell but we'll see um, yeah I know that I don't know anything yes, you're right why does this say this is better this is hold on I'm sorry this says Posted at 5.40 a.m. on the 23rd. Oh, updated 21 minutes ago. I was going to say, what the heck? Why would this be from the 23rd? All right, so here's the latest. It's showing It's showing Thursday at 2 p.m. See, now that time even went went farther back. Farther back. 85 mile an hour winds in a category 1. So it's going to come off of Cuba as a 4. And it's going to stay to a 4 till it's not too far offshore. Um... So where do you see that number one? I am right under that little finger. I am right underneath <laughs> that number one. You can't see the little crick. It looks like a little thumb. It's a little like island thing that pushes out, but I am right underneath that number one. I'm number one. <laughs> and then the other place is north. Well, actually, it's kind of like right kind of small to show you but it's kind of like at the tail end it's on the shore but kind of like right where that other one is but on the shore makes any sense. of course the state of Florida looks awfully tiny on this little phone <laughs> but um, so yeah so I'll be posting post I'm gonna post some pre-recorded I'm just gonna post them out schedule them out if I need to use them I will if not I'll just schedule them for another day so if you don't see me responding then chances are I'm out of power and I can't um, but I just watched the pre-records out my algorithm until I can get back and get going. So thank you guys so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed our little easy peasy project. It is so cute. I like it. <laughs> Have a great night. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you soon.